After that, I flew straight back here. So the Order of St. Michael funded the whole Phoenix operation? And Anna Maria ran it. What happened to the gold? Maynard didn't know. You think Anna Maria does? Did. Remember, she wanted you to help her find a missing treasure. Treasure? Exactly. But what kind? What, the elixir of life? Some kind of wonder cure for every illness? Or a weapon. No. No, Maynard was crazy. You can't believe him. Why should he lie? Anna Maria wouldn't have got mixed up in... Maynard was vaporized. That powder, the gold, it's a fuel, Georges. Fuel for a weapon. Believe me. Well, now, I've made a lovely pot of tea. We need to go back and check out the monastery. Oh? Oh, what's happened? Let me come with you. Sorry, Mark. You better leave this to us. I can handle myself. It could be dangerous. We need you here, in case something goes wrong. I always miss the fun. We're not in this for the fun, Mark. Come on, Nico. Let's go. The square is lifeless. Perfect conditions for sneaking in. It's Archie Lonsdale, the tramp from Anna Maria's place. Hello, Archie. How you doing? Who's that, then? Oh, it's me, George Stobart, from the apartment block. My dear boy, what a pleasure to see you again. Giles, isn't it? I never forget a face. Just names, huh? So, what brings you down this way? Well, in my line of work, you've got to keep moving. Work? I'm writing a book, you see. Oh, what's it called? Tipples Round the Globe. Kid's story, huh? Little cat, maybe, on a boat with some animal chums. Hear me no. Encyclopedia of booze, country by country. You haven't got very far, then. Can't see straight enough to write. Hmm, wonder why that is. Time to find her. So how did Brother Mark deal with the bird droppings? Ha! That was damn funny, Godfrey. Haven't laughed so much in years. So was he angry? Not until you left. Then he went into a right old paddy, attacked me with his broom. Really? I've spent the whole day picking the bristles out of my... Ah, well, all in good cause. Bristles out of your what? You sure do have a thing for my friend there. She's a fine woman. Curvy. Voluptuous. Lovely soft edges. Huh? You like wine, don't you? I've been known to have the odd drop. What do you make of this? It's a vintage red from inside the Vatican. What kind of bottle do you call that? It's travel size. Well, it wasn't worth the trip if you ask me. Travel size and empty. Cheers, Archie. Next to Archie is a near empty bottle of maths. Can he really be drinking that stuff? Or yeah, maybe he's working part-time as a painter. Right, yeah. Because obviously he has his set of brushes along with him. As well as his notepad and pen. What do you think you're doing? Oh, just admiring your bottle of meths? That, that's got to last me till sunrise, you know. You sure live the high life, Archie. Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. What's with the maths? What comes off from Macon? It does. The alphabet of booze. Macon, maths, Mouton. Oh, I see. You're not drinking it. You're just tasting. Somebody's got to. But how come he's still alive? That's a moot point, Jeffrey, old fella. Cheers, Archie. Macon Mefs? I'm sure there is something else between those two. Molo? Nico looks great tonight. Alright, George, keep your pants on. Hey, Nico, you got a minute? Sure. What do you need? You know, Archie's pretty taken with you. 
He knows a good thing when he sees it. You kidding? He can hardly see beyond his bottle. Georges, sarcasm is... One of the Stobart charms, I know. Don't fight it. I need to get the meths from Archie. Any suggestions? You could try asking him. I think he knows about the bread. How about you ask him for me? Mmm, could get messy. I think I know what he'd want in return. It's all in a good cause. Don't go there, Georges. The Holy Order of St. Michael. That's where Anna Maria was working. Oh yeah, that's the door in the photo. The one where she's a nun. Hey, she wasn't a nun when I met her, okay? So, is that where we're going? No, it's heavily guarded, inside and out. We can't get in that way. We're going in through the wafer factory. We need to find a way into the wafer factory. Well, what did you do last time? Rang the bell, turned on the old charm, and I was in. Somehow, I think they'll all be in bed by now. Plus, they'll remember who I am. Well then, we'll just have to improvise. Oh, thanks, Nico. All right, she was being very helpful. There's no need for the sarcasm, George. Right, we are at the Vatican. At night time. I would have thought there would be more security around here. Especially, like, some kind of shutter for this. There's no one around. The place seems deserted. Right, okay. There doesn't seem to be anyone home. Hey, tourist. That place is off limits to you. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, fella. I thought this was my hotel. No, it is not. Now keep away from the door or I shall arrest you. You betcha. <laughs> sure does look like my hotel, though. How depressed does that guy look? I feel gloomy just looking at him. I wonder when his shift's over. I know how cranky I get when I'm tired. I should just leave him be. Let's face it, it's night, no one's around, and it's the papal service tomorrow. I'm not getting in that way. In the moonlight, the guard's uniform looks almost normal. The guy looks fed up. Working nights, who wouldn't be? That's not to disturb him. Now, this next bit, I have issues with. See if you could understand why. The trash can's full of paper. Well, not because of that. Hey, a half-full bottle of Krug champagne. Vatican. Party City. <laughs> How convenient. A half-filled bottle of champagne. And I'm guessing that it is a... quite a valuable brand. The champagne bottle's half full. Huh, what a waste. Very, very convenient that someone's just dumped half a bottle of champagne in the trash. Look what I just found. A legit bottle of Krug. The best champagne in the world. I'd give my right arm for that. Ah, uh, reminds me of the old days. Christmas tree lights, Father Thames, twinkling, plateful of shepherd's pie, the great and the good. Where are they now, eh? Where are they now? Father Thames? Hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. How would you like to do a trade for your meths? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. Can I interest you in this one-of-a-kind telescopic golf club? Do I look like a man who has the time to play golf? Time, yes. Inclination, no. Hang on, Garfield. Garfield? Take a look at this. 
Isn't it beautiful? It looks like cheap tourist tat to me, old boy. It's an original rosary from the 16th century. Hmm. You think it'd keep my trousers up? I doubt it, Archie. What would you say to this vintage salami, Archie? I'd say, beggar off. Damn stuff gives me wind. I know the feeling. Chapel moves my kind of circles. Can't afford to have glitches in the old body odor department. Of course. How about the bottle of Krug for your meths? You've got yourself a deal, Mr. Stubbles. Hand it over and let the good times roll. <laughs> Enjoy the meths. Rather on the sweet side for my taste, as it happens. Cheers, Archie. The meths are mine. All right. Time for some mindless vandalism. I can feel the arsonist in me coming back to the surface. Oh, the smell of the meths makes my eyes sting. Well, here goes. The guards will be coming any moment. Time to hide. Emergency. Emergency. The bin is burning. The bin is burning. Wow, that was a good hiding place. So not only do they leave these windows open at night time. Now that the guards have their hands full, I can get inside unnoticed. They also don't lock the doors or turn off the machinery. So, a secret room containing a secret machine. What are you talking about? This is our backup machine for special orders. Now, how did you get in here? And do I have to call the Swiss Guard before you'll leave? I think the sister and I need to have ourselves a little chat. What are you planning to do? Let's just say we need to get sisterly. You check around in here. It won't take long. Good luck. Oh, uh, you too, sister. You're gonna need it. Don't be too rough, please. A batch of wafers cooling down on the conveyor. Hmm, they smell good. Well, no one's watching. I'll have one. Hmm, pretty good. I'm sure another wouldn't do any harm. The wafer machine is newer than the one in the main factory. I can't make head nor tail of the machine settings, though. Now, what do these buttons do? This wafer making business is trickier than it looks. Whoops. Oh, hello. Something in the darkness. No, it can't be. At the base of the mixing vats, traces of gold dust. It's monatomic gold. But what's this stuff doing near a wafer making machine? These look like the mixing vats and dough mixers. It isn't for dough, so what is it for? The equipment to measure the different parts of the mixture. Looks incredibly accurate. The gold has to be added here so as not to contaminate the larger batches. But why make only small amounts of wafers with monatomic gold in them? Huh? I can hear Nico returning with Sister Angelica. I think she'll cooperate now. Won't you, Sister? So, this wafer machine, what's it for? Special orders. 
I think for Il Papa himself. And what makes them special? The holy powder, of course. As a matter of fact, we've just finished a run tonight. Why is this machine used only for special orders? Why doesn't every wafer have the holy powder? If every wafer had it, it wouldn't be special, would it? Careful, sister. Don't you think it's a bit strange having a special powder to make a special batch of wafers? I just do what I'm told. What's happened, Georges? I found traces of monatomic gold in this machine. But why would the church be putting gold into communion wafers? One thing's for sure. It's not to protect their teeth. Where's the rest of this holy powder? I have no idea. A batch came in and left almost immediately. It's being used for something else, I suppose. Someone's coming. But no one uses the factory at night. Quickly, shut the doors. It's Cardinal Gianelli. I don't think he's catching up on his paperwork. That's very odd. He never uses the factory entrance. I think we need to follow him. Um, what should I do? Stay here and pray for forgiveness. He seems to have a problem walking through doors. Look, Nico, there he is. Considering he's the boss, he looks pretty shifty. He must be headed for the offices. I'll go across the garden. You wait under those trees. Once I'm safely across, you join me. Sure thing, Georges. Or they could just go together. Right, we need to be very careful here. I'm hoping that I can do this in one go. What took you so long, Georges? What the? You know me. I'm not one to hang around. That's what I've always liked about you, Nico. A fast mover. Phew. I was kind of worried there for a second. Devlin's office door is slightly open. I can hear movement inside. There's someone in there. Shh. Hey, Nico, take a look. Those are Devlin's files. What's he up to? The door into Devlin's office. Correct me if I'm wrong here, Cardinal, but isn't that somebody else's safe? Or do you just not give a damn any longer? You. Haven't you done enough damage? No, oh, we've only just started. And we don't have much time. Where's the weapon? <laughs> you ask me? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. Yes, your eminence, don't pretend. Good timing, guys. So it is true, Monsignor Devlin. You and the Americans were working together all along. Once again, Your Eminence, you fail to understand what is happening in front of your own eyes. 
We were working with Americans, but not this one. We must all be prepared to die for our faith. May the Lord forgive me. Dinelli was weak. He refused to let us build the weapon. But the weapon is our destiny! God granted it to the Order hundreds of years ago to smite the infidel when the time was right. And the time is right now, but Ginelli wouldn't listen. He was going to stop us. Fortunately, we found you in time. We couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Stobart. You translated the manuscripts, found the cherub, and even stopped the cardinal for us tonight. Remarkable. Oh, any time. So, what happens now? We change the course of the world. And if we hadn't turned up when we did, he might have been able to stop us. But why? He betrayed the Order two years ago by forbidding us to use the Ark. Only Father Gregor and I have the strength to fulfill the Order's destiny, to smite the infidel and prove the righteousness of the One Faith. You mean kill everyone who hasn't taken on religion? It is our calling. So what happens now? We can use her, but we don't need him. You're right. Take her downstairs. Well, what happens to me? You're going to a much better place. Wake up, George, wake up! Oh, where's my wheelbarrow? What? I'm so sick and tired of being knocked out. All part of the job, I guess, for you. Mark? How did you get here? Abseiling's not as dangerous as it looks. So I see. I've been training all my life for this moment, George. Where's Nico? I don't know. He's alive. You must stop them. Nobody else here knows about this. Only you. But what are they doing? Where are they? They have the Ark. The Ark? And they have the gold to power it. I tried to stop them. You use the Mafia? God will forgive me. But the girl, Anna Maria, she was too clever for me. For me too. But your eminence, what will the Ark do? The Angel of Death will rise up and destroy the unbelievers for miles around. Only those whose faith is true will be saved. Devlin believes it will show the world that there is only one true God. He wants to start a worldwide crusade. Where is he? And where's Nico? You must stop him. Here. Take the manuscript. Find the Ark. Find the Ark! And stop him. He's dead. We have to find Nico. A Gregor said something about downstairs. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad that George is alive, but I can't understand why they did not just shoot him. I've never been so happy to see a priest. Mark, help me! What do you need? Mark, do you know your way around this place? Uh, where could they have taken Nico? There's supposed to be an ancient necropolis somewhere, but I doubt you can reach it from here. It's underground, yeah? The whole Vatican is riddled with secret crypts and hidden chapels. All those nights watching action movies paid off, huh? I always dreamed something like this would happen. I never thought it would be right here in the Vatican. A regular Catholic crusader. I like that, George. I like that a lot. Do you really think they have the Ark? I never doubted its existence. It's a weapon, though, and, and Gianelli said they had enough gold to power it. But why would they kill innocent people? To cleanse the world of unbelievers? It's quite a popular notion these days. If the Ark is a weapon, then what can be done to stop it? Beats me. Thank you, Mark. Let's take a look at this new manuscript. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmuk can follow Templar or Hospitaller. 
of lowly breed, Malmuk must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. Wait, hold on. Is this all the same? It must be. Okay. I have got that message. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. A powerful image of the Ark of the Covenant. Light, or could it be fire, is pouring out over the land below. Symbol of the Templars. Symbol of the Turk. Symbol of the Assassin. Symbol of the Mamluk. Symbol of the Hospitaller. Yeah, it just feels like this was incomplete. The fourth. The master shall show the way through the warmth of his heart. Right, so we have two, four, and five. Finally, thou must prove thyself to be true. Right, so what about the first? And the third? That's really quite strange. That definitely seems like a bug. Right, time to check out this painting again. The Ark of Ashdod, depicting the slaughter of the innocents. I have to stop the same thing happening again here and now. Described in the book of Samuel, it depicts the power of the Ark of the Covenant devastating the populace of Ashdod. Mark, this weapon, the Ark, it must be what Gregor and Devlin plan to unleash. Holy Mother of God! George, we must stop them. Let's take a close look at these angels again. We have this one facing to the right, and his hourglasses just here, and this angel facing to the left, and the hourglasses are in the same configuration. That will be important soon. I'm sure that there was some sort of pole across this trapdoor just here. There's a lock on the inside of the trapdoors, but I need to get to it. Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? Oh, you give it a go. Well done, Mark. We make quite a good team. Funny. In my dreams there was always a beautiful blonde cheering me on at a moment like this. A blonde, as in blonde girl? Of course. Oh, well, I thought you were, well, you know. What, George? Why, well, I, I kind of thought you didn't, well, have those feelings uh, for uh, women. George, I may wear the garb of a priest, but inside there still beats the heart of a hot-blooded male. Mark is free to like whoever he likes. Well, this looks familiar. Sort of. The hourglass is turnable. Now which way should I turn it? The sand is facing downwards. Now which way should I turn it? 
and it is facing to the right. Excuse me, but I need to see this from another angle. Here we go. The head of the angel looks pretty menacing. Around its neck, there's a groove as if the head can be removed. Or turned. Ah, a satisfying click. It looks like the head is now locked in place. Okay, I thought that the head would turn, but looking back at this painting, the skulls do face forward. Now which way should I turn it? And again, this one is sand at the bottom. And to the right. Now which way should I turn it? Same again, please, George. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. Mark, I need you to do something for me. I want you to hold the angel's head back so I can go through the door. That means I won't be able to come with you. Where I'm going is no place for a priest. But George, I studied Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, Korean kickboxing. I know the SAS handbook backwards. I've seen every Bond movie ever made. And I can hold my breath underwater for two minutes. Whoa, two minutes? How'd you do that? Vatican diving team champion. Two years running. Cool. So, can I come? Sorry, Mark. Cheers, Mark. See you on the other side. Be careful, George! 